I um we live, but um to do the turn on my volume. Uh, Yo, who made the flyer? I did on some hood shit. That jump fire though. Yeah, it is pretty what? nice. That's on fire though. I downloaded it. I was doing my light skin face. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I was doing my light skin face on there. I was like, I'm cute. <laughs> I um I did it using like a, a collage type thing. Is Kiki on the uh, Aaron... tonight? Who? Kiki. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> might be, might not. I don't know. <laughs> Are, are, were you looking forward to her? Do you see what she brings to the show? Um, I've seen one episode. Oh, yeah, I need these red joints. Um, but I, I've heard her. I've heard her talking. I've heard her talking about. I can't really pinpoint one thing or another. Oh, okay. Well, I'm asking because um, I was thinking maybe like you was looking forward to like her point of view, like how some people were most definitely looking forward to your point of view on certain things. Yes, we uh, are. All right. So, okay. Let me see. Okay. So, upload. At an image. What are you doing, Ashley? Doing a background. Oh. Real quick. Oh. I just want a different okay. background. I think. You fancy. I'm gonna try to do a different background. I like the way. Okay, you so have. is everybody here except for Kiki? And she did. Do you love me? Oh my gosh, Courtney! You just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Oh, the drink. Okay. Yeah. Right. You look cute, Whitney, by the way. I know I said Ashley look cute, but you look cute too, Whitney. Thank you, girl. I had to try to fix myself up for y'all tonight. It's been a long time. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm actually not happy with how things are going for me. But oh my uh, gosh, you look fine, Ashley. You look cute. That's another session. But all right, so um you look good, girl. You better do it. All right, let me tell <laughs> Daniel. Me. Who okay? Hey, everybody that's watching. Hi, 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 Scott Rock. Oh, I think this is your first time tuning in, but I look forward to you know. And of course, we have our returning guest who I don't know why she don't want to come on the show, but um, all right. So, hi, everyone. We're going to go ahead and start the show. I was kind of waiting on Miss Kiki, you know, the diva. <laughs> um, she took Courtney's place. <laughs> You know, with being the Beyonce of the group. <laughs> hey, Adam. Hey, my snowflake. Hey, my uh, Reese oh, cup with the white oh. chocolate. You know, but um, all right. So this is the I've noticed episode uh nine. Yeah. Uh, make sure you go like all the pages. The uh, most definitely the I've noticed uh Facebook page. Once it gets up to my standings, then I will start recording live from there. I guess you could say from that page specifically. Um, also go like the Ashley Jimmy to me Facebook catering page. The follow me on Instagram. Um, Ashley Monique eight four three. It's a mixture of everything. You know, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of food, and of course the I've noticed stuff. Um, and then most definitely go subscribe to the YouTube page, the um, Ashley Jimmy Tummy. And there's a whole playlist with every uh, episode of the I've Noticed. Also, when we first started, which was uh, 2020, December 2020, it started out with Successfully Single. So there's some episodes in there as well. But if you can't catch it live, if you don't, if you your, your lifestyle is busy and you can't uh, watch it visually, then you can also go listen to it on um Pandora, Amazon Music, um, iHeartRadio, a couple other places as well. Um, Spotify, that's why I follow it. Yeah, and Spotify as well. Um, I'm working on a couple extra. I'm just waiting to get approved, pretty much. But uh, I know where yeah. my background's from because Ashley disappointed me. Listen, I'm, I'm not. If, if, background? Was more, if it was more of a Rugrats thing, then I would have been like, "Is it um, hey, uh, no. yes, ma'am." Oh, okay, yeah, that's the <laughs> Okay. I, I didn't have a real good childhood. I was busy. Hey, <laughs> I was doing uh, I know. Shit. My show too. Right but, okay, so let me introduce the guest. Uh, we have a special guest here. Uh, oh, what is I need sound effects. God, I got it up. I know we need something to drop one of them little <laughs> how they go to Breakfast Club. Drop one of the cool balls. We need something to introduce our guest. <laughs> okay, so how he get up? 
Uh, make sure I'm pronouncing it right. Jared Jenkins. What's happening? Okay, so uh, let me let me tell you how he come about, and I'll let him, uh, you know. I saw him commenting on a previous guest, Mr. Pikes. You might remember him, Wes Pikes. The Pikes. Whatever. The, <laughs> you know, and uh, I was like, Ooh. oh, no, or Daniel. Maybe it was Daniel. I don't know. It was somebody. It was somebody that he commented on. And I was like, oh, this is spicy. And I was like. It was mine. Okay, okay, it was yours. Okay, sorry. Yeah. But he knew, I think he, I don't know. I, I got so many Facebook friends that I want up here, especially guys. But um, but yeah, Jerry, um, introduce yourself. Where can they follow you at if you choose What's for them good? to? You know. Um, I'm Jared Jenkins. Um, I don't have a uh, Twitter, but I have an Instagram that I'm barely on. Uh, Jared dot Jenkins, Facebook Jared dot excuse me, Facebook Jared Jenkins, and that's about it for social media. Born and raised man, South Carolina, Swamp Fossils. Yay. Hey, we in there. <laughs> I think all of us are like alumni. Yeah, <laughs> we in there. But uh, I was only there for one year. <laughs> well. I mean, yeah, I didn't but, graduate from there either. <laughs> For real? Catfish. <laughs> but okay, so I, I don't even know y'all now. You, I, you should already know Courtney. <laughs> you should know Daniel. And then of course Whitney. And then um <laughs> if you guys choose to, because we have new people watching, possibly, so you can introduce yourself, you know. Either or who can go first, you know. Oh, we're Who's introducing going, ourselves? Oh. Yeah. Because oh. you're always going to have new people watching based off of the guests, you know. Oh, gotcha. Well, I'm Whitney. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, follow my blog page, The Polish Gem, on Facebook. On Instagram, The Polish Gem underscore. If you want to follow my personal page on Instagram, it's philanthropist, but R-H-O. Yeah, if you got it, you got it. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right. Oh. I'm Courtney. You can follow me on IG on at Full Court. You can follow me on Twitter at Full Court Leo, I believe. If not, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Daniel. Uh, you can follow me on IG at I underscore am underscore rhythm, uh, R H Y T H Y M. You can do the same thing on TikTok. Um, if you like video games and like to see somebody suck on video games, you can also follow me on Twitch. Uh, and I have a stream, I stream video games like Call of Duty, things of that nature at Looney, L O O N E Y X Juice. All right, so it's kind of fire over there. <laughs> Your quality, I said Daniel was talking earlier about his uh camera like being better than his gaming on his gaming system. I was like, yeah, That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at this thing <laughs> like, Lord. <laughs> All right, so let's jump straight into it. And also the topics that we're talking about, they're listed on this live. Um, of, you, of course, you can always comment below in the comment section. If we have time, uh, we'll read it. But um, tonight we're going to try something different. We're going to do an after show. Um, I posted the flyer so you can kind of back out and come back in. But I posted a flyer of the dial-in number that you can use as um, soon as this is over with. And I'm letting you know. It should be good. It should be interesting, you know. But you can call in. You can say whatever you want to say about the topics and, you know, vent, rant. Or if you got something else you want to talk about, then just, you know. Is that on, would that be on Facebook, Ashley? It is. It's on Facebook now. No, I'm saying will the after thing be on, like, live stream on Facebook like this is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it up there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's jump into the first topic, which is. Why some men choose not dating single moms or somebody else's baby mama? Single moms or somebody else's baby mama. I think I mean, the guys like, just, everybody has a preference, you know, and some guys rough. prefer not to prefer not to deal with the um uh, the baggage, you know, uh the extraness, you know. And from what I've learned recently. Um, well, prior, you always knew, like, baby, you heard the phrase baby mama drama, you know, whatever, whatever. Well, recently, you know, because I'm in this dating thing now, um, I've, I was told that some, some guys don't prefer not to deal with women that have children based off the fact of um, they are a liability. The children are a liability um, because women want to get married. Women want this family. 
uh, women want the man to be the provider. He, she want him to take care of the household. But when it come down to her biological children with another man, she, he can't discipline the children as if they're his. And so the man is financially investing and emotionally investing into these children. But honestly, he's getting nothing out of it. It's just like, oh. that's why they considered it a waste, uh, a liability versus an asset, you know. So why they're not dating single women, single moms. Okay. That's a lot of That's, reasons. That was one of the reasons. Well, so, hey, the <laughs> so, yeah. So, Jared, could you please uh, start us off with this, with how you feel about it and your route, or if you're currently, how do you choose to go about it? Or what's your whole well, I mean, Okay, so if a girl already has kids, it's like, it's hard on you to date her because, for one, the kid is going to take up a lot of her time. She's going to be busy a lot doing stuff with the kid, taking the kid to practices and doctor's visits and different things like that. And probably the worst part is the kid's father. If the kid's father is involved in the kid's life, you're going to have to deal with him at some point. Y'all going to have to talk or have some type of communication. He might have an issue with you if you try to discipline the kid. Um, the kid might not like you. Uh, she might expect you to spend money on the kid. Like It's way more stuff that can happen that can cause problems than if you're just dating like a chick that doesn't have kids. So do you have, um, with that being said, when you were saying uh, she might expect you to spend money on the kids, uh, Courtney, I don't know if you remember Courtney and Whitney. Um, I think you tuned in, Whitney, but Courtney, remember uh -huh. we talked about, yeah, we talked about you're dating the mom, not the kid. So, because some women do anticipate you or expect you to buy their kids like food or take the kid, do a kid-friendly date. Like, you just maybe want to go to yeah. the fair, take her to the fair, but you ain't that don't mean you want to take the kids to the fair. Like, that's extra money, you know? Yeah. So do you have... Yeah, I think that's one of those things, too, that comes with... I don't think it's... To be honest, I don't think it's anything different from asking a guy about dating a single mom and asking a female about dating a guy that has kids because all the things that you mentioned were just like things I'm thinking of in my head or reasons because like I say all the time, when people have kids, that's adding another layer to the relationship. And it's not like something simple. Like that's a lot, like your time, your commitment. And I don't think it's anything wrong, necessarily wrong with the mom thinking, okay, well, if I do certain things, my kid has to be a part of it because they're a mom. So right. some of those spaces where you will originally have to navigate where it's just you and the person, like some of those events or some of those things are going to have to change maybe. And it's like, it's you, the woman, but it's also her kid too. Same thing I feel like with, with guys, it's like, it may not be as much because I feel like women, of course, are the primary caregivers for the kids. But, you know, sometimes it may situ be situations where, you know, you, I've been in situations like that, not that I've necessarily been in a relationship with anybody that has kids, but I've been conversing with people who have kids and it's just like, you want to do something or whatever. And it's just like, I, I have to get my kids this weekend or I have to do this and I have to do that. And it's just like, oh man, here we go with the kid thing. And I think that's one of the things, not that it's a bad thing for people to have kids, but I feel like on both sides, you have to understand like the person you, if the person you're dating has a kid, it's going to be a lot of things you have to deal with. And then the person who has the kids has to understand this person is single. So they don't understand how you have to move with kids. Like they don't understand that, you know, if they want to go somewhere, they're just going to pick up and go. You on the other hand have to make accommodations. Like I got to find a babysitter. I can't just up and go on a date at eight or nine o'clock because I got to find somebody to watch the kids. So I think everybody so, has to understand that. Right. So Jared, so where are you at in your life right now? Are you saying no women with kids whatsoever? No, nah, right. like, so that's the thing. Like, it's not that I would never do it. And I'm not saying no, anybody should never do it. I'm just saying it makes it harder. Like, if you have a choice between two identical women and they got everything the same, the per personality is the same, they look the same, all that other stuff. But the only difference is one of them has a kid or two by another dude or two, and the other one has no kids. It's an easy choice. You're not choosing the one with kids. You see, and I, I was told that because I... I want to, I want children. And so I was like, well, people was like, well, you're financially stable. You can do it. And I was like, yeah, but I'll be a single mom, AKA a baby mom. Even if me and the guy co-parenting, it yeah. looks better if I was married, had a kid, it didn't work out. And then we got divorced. So I can at least say I was married, but for me to just be like, oh, I want to have a kid. I want to have a family. I have to look at that because when dating wise, let's just a guy 
like he said, like some men, remember Whitney, you know, when we was talking about real, there's no such thing as a real man, but real men don't be on social media. Real men don't do this. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, real yeah. men don't, they say they don't want to deal with somebody else's child. They don't want that house. So they don't want that aggravation. Even if the, the child's father is a cool guy, like, back him up. yo, you know, we can watch the game together, you know, but still you kind of got that. I, I don't know, but I was told like, that would be so awkward watching a game with the dude. Really? The, 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 um, the dad? Like, watching a game with the, with, no. <laughs> we ain't watching no game. See, that's what I'm saying. They, they like, like, like who wants to do that? Like, who wants to watch? Like, if you want to, if you want to watch a game, like, no dude is trying to have the kids in there. Doing whatever, you know what I mean. I, I think the older night. you are, I think the older you are, the more you're, you're like, you know what? We just, it's just, he's cool. He's a cool dude, or she's a cool girl. Because you know, I told y'all like, if if I date a guy, well, Jer, I hire you. Do you have a cat? Like, if you do right now, date a girl with kids, or whenever. Do you have a cat? Because me, I have two, two kids, one baby mom. That's my math equation. Because I know I want to have children, so I think about it financially, like the money coming out. You know, I'm not trying to be the Brady Bunch here. I ain't trying to have six years, you know, three years. Three. So do you have a cap on kids and baby mom? I mean, oh, baby gets, daddy. It gets worse for every additional kid you got and every dad you got, too. Like, if you got, like, if you got, like, one kid by one guy, all right, that's one thing. If you got two kids by two guys, that's like, come on, what are you doing? You're doing too much, man. Why you got two different dudes and two different babies? And stuff then happens though. Stuff happens though because I know I know somebody who was married, had a kid, and and they were got divorced and no longer no longer together. But she got into another relationship and they had a kid. She got divorced, so she on. has she has kids by two different men. But, but of course, while she when she had those kids, she was in a committed relationship. She was married. So I also think like when you're thinking about these things, it of course other things come into play, like the type of relationship that you have, um, that they may have with the other parent, the age of the kids. Like I feel like that's another big thing too, because I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, I wouldn't really think about it that much if the kids were older or yeah, of yeah, age. Yeah, you know, I said that too. It's, 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 it's much, it's much harder, I feel like, if you're dealing with like especially infants, like, well, you just had this baby too. You know, a, a year ago, like and you, you already on to the next dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we talked you, about that dating while pregnant. We, we yeah. Oh hell, man, no, man. <laughs> Boy, you missed that episode. Dating like, while you, who dating a pregnant dating lady? Dating while pregnant. Yeah. yeah. There's some women that mm. honestly do that, but you like, know, not I'm just hurt. dating, like actually being like intimate with the woman while she's come pregnant. on, man. I ain't Have you lie, ever heard the phrase do. of um, "pregnant pussy is the best pussy"? Have you ever heard that before? From your girl, if you made a friend, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. From your person, lady. probably not from like just <laughs> that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Any dude who looking at pregnant ladies trying to get on, you need to chill out, man. That's not cool. Oh, they out there, Jared. They out there. That's weird. She it pregnant is. by another dude. What are you doing? It uh, is weird, but they out there. We weren't learned that episode that maybe they don't seek it out, but if it's brought to them, they don't know. You still uh, feel like. Oh, that's kind of. Oh, I don't know. I guess not all men. She already that. pregnant currently. That matter didn't even, just fact, happened recently. Matter of fact, I know a girl who was. I didn't even think about this that episode. I knew a girl. We not cool anymore. But I knew a girl who was sexually active with somebody else's baby. Come I know on, a man. Couple girls that was like that. I think that say that say something, man. That say something when you don't even have the baby out and you already on to the next dude smashing. You tripping? Yeah. Yeah. Still out. So, so out Daniel, somewhere. How, how do you feel baby. about it? Because you're our other guy. You're you're more of the. You're more. How do I feel about what? Daniel's more the of the loving guy. So it's yeah, he, he, he's the the teddy bear. He's the very yes. one. He's the, oh, the perfect he's the dream guy. I'm coming from my life right now. Which, you which wrong, I'm kind of like low key. Daniel might be a serial killer because he's just <laughs> too nice. like he's just too nice. You know something's going on. I'm gonna have to hire a PI. But um. So the question was: right. Some men choose not to date single moms. Like, are you okay with that? And if so, what's your cap? Like, how many kids? How many dads? Like, how do you navigate? Me personally, um, I have no problem with it. I always joke. I always say, like, I I just renewed my stepdaddy license last month. I'm good. <laughs> I always joke about that. Yeah. We, we um, <laughs> right. 
<laughs> I have I have no problem with that. Here's the reason why. Is because for me, um, being somebody that doesn't have kids, um, if I really like, for one, if I really like the female and she has kids, because I don't have kids, my schedule can, you know, kind of work and be flexible with her schedule with her child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The other thing for me is until we get serious, I don't plan on meeting that child. So like the things that Jared was saying, I definitely agree with as far as, you know, being financially available for the child and her mother, his or her mother, things of that nature. That ain't coming until I know you got potential to be the one. Like I know that we are <laughs> really, you know what I'm saying? Like we're going to have that conversation. Like I just want to let you know I do have kids. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But you just know like it's, it's going to be me and you. We're going to learn each other and then we're we'll incorporate the family dates and then we'll because I don't want to I don't here's my my only thing is being a part of a broken family is I don't want anybody to come into my life as a kid and then I get attached to them and the next thing I know we don't they only date yeah. in six months that's bad you know what I'm saying yeah. so like I'm I'm to the point where listen we're gonna figure us out before we figure out the family because we might not be compatible you might just think I'm cute and I might think you cute you might go on a couple of dates and then find out hungry. this ain't working. Because she hungry. Right. She... <laughs> so, so, are you you know saying, so are you saying that you're not ready to be called Mr. Daniel <laughs> by the kid? Mr. Mom, Mr. Daniel's at the door. No, I'm, I, this is what's going to happen. If I'm, if I'm going to, if I, if something happens where I have to meet the child, right? I'm going to be Uncle Daniel until I'm stepdad. You get oh, what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mommy's mommy's home. I don't boy. like that whole uncle thing. Like, what you, know you want? You I don't like that either. You can get that. I'm, like I'm, I'm not saying literally. Yeah, I'm not saying exactly. That's what I'm saying, Jay. Yeah, like, like, you want to be right. uncle such and such, and then when y'all get serious, I'm saying, I'm saying, as a phrase, we'll we'll figure something out. What to call me? <laughs> then I'm fine with Mr. Daniel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like Mr. I'm saying, I, maybe I shouldn't use uncle. I don't mean nothing like like that. But I'm you just know they, they used to say that back. They're not they gonna know our business. Back in the day, everybody was uncle. Everybody who I know that's so weird. Like that's why nasty. you want them to be uncle? That's nasty. Even when I'm sitting here thinking, that's nasty. I feel but like get, even if you're but you talking get what I'm somebody, saying though. Yeah. Like y'all get what I'm saying? Like we're, I'm yeah. like, the name. They're not gonna know our business until it's time for them to know our business. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even if there's a, a on the occasion, I have to come knock on the door and Junior answers the door and I'm saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for your mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be like, I'm here for your mother. Like, we're going out on a date. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to just <laughs> let them know. Listen, like, was okay, a, it, it we're was going a, on a business um, venture. Like, we're going to look at some property. Like, they don't got to know our business. You know what I'm saying? Was, I can't remember what comedian it was, but it was like, it was like a long time ago, like back in depth deaf comedy jam days but it was this guy he was talking about um dating single moms and he was he was a big guy and he was like oh he said he got so tired he said he stopped dating single moms because he was tired of their kids coming to the door saying ma <laughs> that fat man at the door <laughs> <laughs> he's he like, he 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 like he done with single moms he's like he's so tired of them bad ass kids so that fat <laughs> man at the door <laughs> That was my friend. And they be grown. Uh, Some of them be grown though. Like they be bad grown kids. Like they be saying like they're things like, that adults would say. Like what? How are you like, talking they, like, they, like they, that? And you only like, sit. And you can't attitude. talk around kids either. Like when you be on the phone, like hypothetically, like being on the phone with Courtney or something, you be like, "Yeah, girl, I got this dude." Da -da. And then kids be going back seeing stuff. They be like, "Oh, you that lady that my mama said who have a must." Like kids are just they are parents. They don't they care. Everything. They don't care everything yeah. that is cute but you know i think it's hard like if you are uh talking to someone who has kids you know i understand you know you don't want to you know take it to that level as far as introducing somebody to the kid and maybe like risking the kid getting attached to the person but i also think it's it's pretty hard to not include or want to do something in some aspect like if I'm talking to somebody that I know has kids and it's a younger kid, like, I don't feel like I can completely forget about the fact that he has a child and just focus on getting to know that person. Oh, no, oh, no. no. That's you good. know what that's I mean? Good. Like, that's even, good. no, I, I was saying that because, like, even in the aspect, I know everyone was saying about, like, 
buying things for the child or doing things for the child. I don't think that should be like expected. But at the same time, I feel like naturally, like every now and then you may want to do something for the kid. Like you may want to take them someplace. And that's my problem. Something. That's my problem. I, I try not something. to be a, a give too much of a Yeah. Gift. So, and, and, I, and I feel like you know? that, like that area is, is fine. Like, I don't think you should completely like, oh, you know, I know you got a kid, but we ain't thinking about them at all. Like, I'm just focused on you because that's a part of them. Like, and I think that's the, that's the side of being like a single mom or a single dad that's kind of like yeah you're dating me but like this is extension of me so automatically like my kid comes into play so it's just like because of that like I feel like automatically every now and then you're going to want to do something for the kid or, or be well, considerate of their time I still think that comes with a with a certain time limit though like in my opinion I still think that comes with needing some time to really figure out if this is what you want like you going far as, right. that's yeah. what I was about you know to what I'm saying? Like when you say when you you know like of course you want to start like you know getting stuff for the kids and stuff like that is that before you meet them or is that after you meet the kids I'm I'm kind of like, like actually, I'm kind of bad with that like I say I'm not gonna do none of that but eventually like if I know somebody has kids like if I'm in a store and I see something I, I'll find myself probably like oh you know but like I'm, I'm just like that. Like I, I will. But like I try not. I won't do it like as much. But I, every now and then, like I will think about it. And like if it's something, not even necessarily something to buy. Just like just being considerate of like their time schedule and what they have going on with their kid. You know, they got, I don't know, sports stuff going on. You know, I, I feel like even like if it gets to the point where we're like conversing like regularly and we're like going on dates and we're you time know, yeah yeah time is being spent yeah but definitely so, so yeah i get yeah I, yeah so yeah so you i guess be doing that before you actually met the kid oh no no i mean i would know about the kid before i do all of that stuff not just off the whim like oh i got a kid and i'm just starting by, like i would like know about the kid or like seeing them on facetime or something you know not just yeah, yeah. typically how, well, how the kids come up. I was confused because I thought you were saying that like, but like just knowing that that person has a kid, maybe you know he has like a five year old son. You're gonna start buying like games. Oh stuff. yeah, no, not nah, some yeah, some connection has already been made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Typically, yeah. how the how the gift giving kind of starts is like when um they were like, oh yeah, my daughter's birthday is coming up, but I'm like, oh, well, what are you getting them? You know, because you know how I feel about gifts. I like I feel like I'm the best. I've done that. Yeah, that's my problem. And I'm too. like, oh, I've what are you getting too. them? They're like, oh, I'm not sure. Like <sighs> transparency here. One of the gifts that I did get, but it wasn't for like a kid. It was for a mom. Was a bra. Like I was talking to a guy, and he was like. Oh, my mom, she uh wants a bra. And he was like, I know it's kind of weird. I was like, this would be interesting. I'm like, I want to see a guy go into a, a store and buy a bra, you know, but, and them not thinking that you want to put it on, you know, because you know how the world is now. <laughs> but, uh, but I ended up going to get the, the mom's bra. He like gave me money on it, but I ended up getting her like a couple more bras because they was like on sale and stuff. So, mm. all right, so... Um, so everybody that's watching, uh, like I said, after show, if you want to tune in, you know, cause I know we have like moms who are either single moms who had kids and you might be in a relationship now with a, a guy who's not even our female, that's not even the children's father. If you want to come in and weigh in on that topic, if you haven't commented in the section below, then please call it after the show so we can talk about it. All right. So, um, second topic 